Hello folks, Michael Klepik here, your go-to specialist for air and gas purification solutions. Today we're diving deep into flue gas desulfurization, FGD scrubbers, a key player in reducing sulfur dioxide, SO2 emissions from industrial exhaust gases. If you're working in industries like power generation or refining, you've probably come across FGD systems as an essential tool for keeping your operations compliant with environmental regulations. So let's break down the design, chemistry, technology, and available models of FGD scrubbers and why they're a must have for your facility. Why FGD scrubbers matter. Before we get into the details, let's talk about why FGD scrubbers are so important. Sulfur dioxide is a major contributor to air pollution, specifically acid rain, which can harm ecosystems, agriculture, and even structures. Industrial processes like burning fossil fuels in power plants release large amounts of SO2. Governments worldwide have strict emissions regulations, and FGD scrubbers are a powerful solution to capture and neutralize this harmful gas before it escapes into the atmosphere. Now let's dig into how these systems work the technology behind them, and which models might suit your needs. FGD Scrubber Design The basic design of a flue gas desulfurization system revolves around the use of a wet scrubber or a dry scrubber to remove sulfur dioxide from exhaust gases. Here's an overview of how the design typically looks. 1. Wet Scrubber Systems The wet scrubber is the most common type of FGD system and uses a liquid usually water mixed with an alkaline reagent, such as limestone, CACO3, or lime, CAO, to capture and neutralize SO2 in the gas stream. Gas inlet. The flue gas containing SO2 enters the scrubber. Absorption section. As the gas moves upward, it comes into contact with the scrubbing liquid sprayed from nozzles. This initiates a chemical reaction that converts the sulfur dioxide into a liquid byproduct. Reaction tanks. The reaction between SO2 and the alkaline slurry forms calcium sulfite, KSO3, which can be further oxidized to form gypsum, KSO4, 2H2O, a byproduct that can be sold for use in construction materials. Mist eliminators. These help remove any entrained liquid droplets before the cleaned gas exits the system. Clean gas outlet. The cleaned flue gas, now free from most of its sulfur dioxide, exits through the exhaust stack. Typical chemistry of wet scrubbers. You can take a look at the screen. 2. Dry scrubber systems. Dry scrubbers are used where water consumption is a concern or space constraints make wet scrubbers impractical. Gas inlet. Like wet systems, the flue gas enters the dry scrubber. Dry sorbent injection. A powdered sorbent, typically lime, CAO, or sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3, is injected into the gas stream. Reaction. The dry sorbent reacts with SO2 to form a solid byproduct, such as calcium sulfite. Baghouse or electrostatic precipitator. After the reaction, the solid byproducts are collected using fabric filters, baghouses, or electrostatic precipitators. Typical chemistry of dry scrubbers. You can take a look at the screen. Factors to consider. When choosing an FGD scrubber, when selecting an FGD scrubber for your facility, consider the following. 1. Flue gas volume. Measure the total volume of flue gas produced to ensure the system can handle the load. Capacities are usually measured in cubic feet per minute, CFM. 2. SO2 concentration. Determine the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the flue gas. Higher concentrations will require more robust scrubbing systems. 3. Water availability. If water is a limiting factor, dry scrubbers might be the best choice. However, wet scrubbers are more efficient in terms of SO2 capture. 4. Space constraints. Wet scrubbers often require more space due to the need for tanks and pumps, whereas dry scrubbers or regenerative systems can be more compact. 5. Byproducts management. Wet scrubbers produce gypsum which can be sold or disposed of. Dry scrubbers produce solid waste that may require different handling procedures. FAQs about FGD scrubbers. What is the main difference between wet and dry FGD scrubbers? Wet scrubbers use a liquid to capture and neutralize SO2, whereas dry scrubbers use a solid sorbent. 
Wet scrubbers generally have higher efficiency, but dry scrubbers are more suited for water-constrained environments. Can FGD scrubbers be used in cold environments? Yes, FGD scrubbers can be designed with heating systems to prevent freezing of the scrubbing liquid, particularly in wet systems. What are the byproducts of wet FGD systems? The primary byproduct is gypsum, CASO 4 2 h 20 which can be used in construction materials like wallboard. How often do FGD scrubbers require maintenance? Routine maintenance includes cleaning spray nozzles, replacing worn parts like fans and valves, and managing byproduct disposal. It's recommended to perform checks every three to six months depending on the system's workload. Whether you're in power generation, chemical processing, or manufacturing, flue gas desulfurization scrubbers are essential for controlling SO2 emissions and ensuring regulatory compliance. By understanding the design, technology, and available models, you can make an informed choice that suits your facility's needs. At TorchAir, we offer a range of customized FGD scrubber systems that are both efficient and environmentally friendly. Reach out to 